A hot cup of tea with some crispy and crunchy onion rings. Who doesn't like it? Let's see how it's made. For this, I have taken two big onions. I have sliced them and separated the rings. This is a must try recipe. The crispiness and the crunchiness and the spice are all perfect. So I hope you will all watch till the end to see the end result too. Now let's prepare the batter for frying these. For the perfect crispiness, here I have taken 3 by 4 cup of all-purpose flour. To this batter, I'm adding 1 by 4 cup of corn flour. And to add a good color to the onion rings, I'm adding 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. If you don't have that, you can use paprika powder. Add salt as required. Gently mix all the dry ingredients before adding the water. Now add water as required to get the perfect consistency for the batter. It will be a string consistency at the end. I have added almost 1 cup of water to this to get the string consistency for the batter but it all depends upon the type of flour that you are using. So finally this is how the batter should look like. Now for the extra crispiness I am also taking 1 cup of breadcrumbs. I have reserved a fork in each of the bowls. First let's dip the onions in this batter using a fork. We don't need any extra coatings so I am straining it and then transferring it to a wiring rack. Similarly repeat it for all the other onion rings. Once we are done cutting all the onion rings in this batter, we will move on to the next step of breadcrumbs so that it is less messy. Now using another dry fork, let's dip these cotted onion rings in the breadcrumbs before frying. Since we have used both corn flour and breadcrumbs, it is going to be extra crispy and crunchy. Crispy crunchy outside and the soft and sweet inside is what we are going to get from this. Similarly, repeat it for all the other onion rings. So finally, our crispy and crunchy onion rings are ready to be fried. To very hot oil, I am sliding in these onion rings one by one. It takes few seconds to get the right texture. With the help of a tong, I am flipping the sides for some more seconds and then straining and keeping it aside. 
So this is how the color should be. I am straining it and keeping it aside in a paper towel. Similarly repeat for all the other onion rings. This is so far the best recipe of onion rings I have ever tried. This has a different taste and it is less tedious than the normal onion pakoras. Everybody should give this a try as all the ingredients are readily available in your kitchen. So finally all our onion rings are ready to be enjoyed. It is crispy and crunchy and it is a must try recipe. Enjoy it with a hot cup of tea and you will always save this recipe for later. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to the space for more interesting updates.